Hey, it's Logan Christopher from Legendary Strength, and in this video we're going to talk about running, uh, whether it's supposed to be on the heels or the toes, uh, how different shoes affect that, and everything. Uh, so, the foot is naturally designed in order to be able to support your weight, to be able to walk and run. Uh, there's actually a study I saw referenced recently where the military uh, had specially designed shoes for a bunch of people, then they had a control group that had no sort of special shoes. And what they found was there's no change in the amounts of injuries people had, whether shoes were designed to help them. I've seen it referenced before in the past, there's a guy that was a specialist with the foot saying that there's no way to have a natural human gait, that is stride or walk and be wearing shoes at the same times. We're meant to be barefoot, more or less. We can't always do that in today's society, uh, but understand that having shoes, not only do we lose the grounding effect that I've talked about in other places, but it's also throwing off our body. Uh, this is further compounded by running by the fact that your body has to handle a lot more stress with every single stride. And when people are doing marathons and long distances uh, often, then they can really compound. That's why a lot of runners end up with pain. So here's what happens. If you are landing on your heel with every strike, that stress is then coming up the body. A lot of people end up in the knees, also in the lower back. Understand, I don't actually have running shoes here, but uh, I got my dress shoes to demonstrate. A thick heel, this is what virtually every single running shoe out there has, except for some of the modern ones like Nike Freeze and different uh, barefoot type running shoes. This heel makes it so that you can pound into the ground with your heel, which once again sends that stress up your body, and you're not going to feel it. Not in the short term anyway. Over time you'll end up feeling that. That is the problem with heels, and the bigger the heel, the worse it really happens to be. So, you can go with something that has like a flat I mean, these vans here, these are just common shoes that I wear. Uh, this is going to still have a heel, some padding there, not really made for running at all. Uh, so here I have Vibrams. When I do running like some hill sprints, this is what I wear. There is still a little bit of padding. To actually run full on barefoot takes some getting used to. And it probably won't even be recommended to start with, especially if you're overweight or something, not used to it at all. You really need to break into this slowly because we have walked around with shoes and ran with shoes our whole life, our foot isn't conditioned to actually be able to handle the stress that comes with running and walking. So a good place to start would be just actual barefoot walking. And even then your feet are also not toughened from wearing shoes all the time, so you're going to have to build up your toughness of your feet as well. So this, with the uh, five finger shoe here, there's very minimal amounts of padding. Now, uh, contrary to what some people say, you can actually still end up heel striking. And regardless of what sort of footwear you're actually running, if you consciously stay on the toes, the arch of the foot is built to be able to absorb that impact and thus not end up transducing stress up into the knees, to the low back and all that. So there are different forms of running like pose running. You can certainly find a lot more information out that in other places. Uh, I would say if you can, try to minimize the amount of heel you're using with running shoes. Uh, if you need it to go long distances, that may mean that uh, perhaps you should ease back in the distances you're going, get to a place where you can go more barefoot or definitely work on your technique. Lots of different options. It really does depend on what you want to do. My brother, for instance, he loves to run marathons. He's gone full on barefoot for marathons. Definitely wasn't something you could start doing from the beginning, had to work up to it, made a lot of mistakes in doing that. I've done some podcasts with him in the past. If you want more information available, I'll have those links below. Uh, but these are some details. The foot, if we're running, we're made to go on the toes, not the heels. If you're doing the heels, then that is going to lead to some problems down the line, especially if you do a whole lot of it. Is a few steps going to do it? No, not at all. But it, it does lead to some problems. So that's some information on running, on shoes, on the heel versus toe strike 